Okay, cool. Hey guys. I'm cleaning my glasses right now. But today, don't get yourself oh, on camera. Yeah. Did you see yourself? Yeah. Candace likes to walk around without a shirt. <laughs> no, you can take me out. I can blur you out. But in today's video, as you guys know, I've been working on these starter locks. I was telling Candace, I'm like, oh snap, they're starting to lock up in the back. So I was a bit, I'll give you guys a quick update, might as well. It looks really messy right now, so don't blame me. But these in the back are like, geez Louise. <laughs> oh God. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of scary. It's like, you better do something about it or you're gonna have to just commit. Yeah, so. Maybe I'll, maybe uh, it'll end up locking up or something like that. But this is actually a hairstyle I've been rocking lately, kinda, when I'm not doing anything. I just throw like a single loop and just let them hang a little bit, man. That's how you get some hang time. Let's head over here because I'm gonna show you guys what I've been talking about. So I wanted to talk about in this video, a pillow that I've been using. I've had it for about a week. And at first I was like, this is really weird, but I've been sleeping with it for a week and it's been like such a blessing in disguise man i'm not i wasn't sure how i was gonna feel about it but it's actually 100 percent organic uh buckwheat pillow and i was like what the heck's buckwheat anyway i'm gonna show you guys right now uh, and the reason i'm showing you guys and and the reason i'm making a video on this is because this is actually really beneficial if you're starting dreadlocks or if you have dreadlocks because you don't want to use just a, i don't sleep on these by the way you don't want to use just a typical cotton pillowcase or a typical you know pillow you want to use a good pillow um, so that you're not flattening out your dreadlocks because that's a big thing too so if you're laying down sometimes you're going to flatten out your dreads and that's what happens if you lay on the back of your head the side of your head any weight that you're putting on your dreads starter locks or anything especially starter locks because they're still maturing if you put a bunch of weight on it with your head is heavy i'm not sure how heavy heads typically are alexa how heavy is a head Dang, that's heavy. That's a whole baby. The average, that's heavier than a baby. Yeah, your head is heavier. Actual, yeah. Your head is actually heavier than you were when you were a baby. That's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. That this right here is heavier than right. But yeah, these are just typical cotton. This is actually a pillow that would actually be good as well. But this is the pillow I'm talking about. This is the Pine Tails Premium. And this is a 100% buckwheat holes pillow. What is buckwheat? I'm going to show you because I had the same question when I got one. You can actually hear it, you hear all that? That's actually buckwheat. It's not like cotton or feathers or anything like that. And the reason you choose buckwheat is because it gives you like a cooler sleep. Like it's not, it doesn't get hot and it holds its shape really well. And at the same time, you can adjust your pillow. You can make it more firm or you can make it more soft or less firm. Before I show you guys the buckwheat, I'm gonna show you guys the actual bamboo. This is ba like, there's so many surprises in this thing, but this is actual bamboo pillowcase. And you can take off the pillowcase and they send you two of these. And the cool thing about it is you don't have to buy separate pillowcases from Pine Tails. It, they send you a pillowcase that is super breathable and it's bamboo. I don't know how that works, but yeah, it's a bamboo pillowcase. You get a close up on this. It has like a, some sort of really like nice padding with it too. Cool thing about it is it's organic. It's good for you. Don't eat it, but it's good for your hair, your, your actual face because it's natural resources that created this pillow. But inside the pillowcase, you have the sack that holds all the buckwheat. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the buckwheat. I'm not gonna take a bunch out because I like my pillow super firm, but this is what it looks like. That's buckwheat right there. And it's really cool. You would think that the noise would kind of bug you at night, but me, me personally, I like listening to white noise. So this is almost like listening to white noise. On top of that, the comfort kind of rules in this pillow. I'm putting all this buckwheat back in because I like how firm it is right now. But the cool thing is, like I said, if you wanted it to be less firm or more soft, you can take out a lot of the buckwheat. And they do have other kinds of pillows, but I want the premium and this actually works really well. They have one that comes with uh, memory foam, and I think that one would be awesome as well. Probably end up getting one of those in the future. But I'm gonna throw this bad boy back on. Like I said, it comes with two of these, and this is my favorite pillowcase. I would say this like literally feels and looks like the outfit that Escaletto wore in Nacho Libre, if you guys remember that. <laughs> but you guys, like I said, this is great if you have starter locks or if you have dreadlocks in general. Do you guys hear me over this? <laughs> No, but 100%, I love this pillow. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it. Not only just because it's buckwheat or bamboo, cause I'm like, 
first off i'm not sure if i read that correctly this is bamboo one thing that i just noticed is like the comfort is my favorite thing but overall like i said the organic and the natural the naturality of this bad boy is really awesome i'm gonna leave a link to their stuff down below um i believe it's pinetails.com but yeah guys that's pinetails.com and i just wanted to make this video like i really wasn't even going to make this video but i thought it was super important for people who have dreadlocks or are starting dreadlocks okay guys i'm gonna lay down so you guys can see see guys you can see how comfortable i am right now and there's just something about this pillow it's not the same as other pillows this is actually my first time of hearing buckwheat pillows i think it's just just the way to go now is this like something new is buckwheat pillows new comment down below if you've ever heard of it comment down below if you have one and another thing that i didn't mention about uh, this company it's actually manufactured and they hand make them here in my hometown it's not my hometown but it's where my home is so hometown phoenix arizona so if you live in the area give pay them a visit or if you don't pay them a visit on the online store come on guys something about this pillow Either way, just pay them. <laughs> but yeah, there's so many benefits that come with this pillow. Not only is it adjustable, because I've never seen an adjustable pillow, but it's comfy. It fits however you want to, if you're a back sleeper, side sleeper, stomach sleeper, head top sleeper, whatever, however you sleep, man. I feel like it's a really good size and it gets my head just enough off of the bed and gives my head like some sort of support without like causing a bunch of neck strain. Um, Cause one thing that I'll notice with cotton or feather pillows is my neck will just be all over the place at night. But this really just stabilizes my neck. And I need that, because I don't want to wake up with a broken neck. Nobody wants that. I'm just gonna just enjoy this for a second so you guys can enjoy it with me. Check this out. See? Almost fell asleep. <laughs> oh man. There's nothing better than a new pillow. But you guys, that's Pintels. Go to Pintels.com if you want to check it out. Links to that in the description. I was on the website recently and I seen that they have a summer sale on right now for 25% off. So try to get at that as quick as possible. But let's touch back on my whole hair journey right now. I was, like I said, when I felt that some of these are actually locking up, I was almost surprised because this is really fast, by the way. And I think one thing that I do notice is when your hair starts to lock up, it'll lock up super fast after that once it starts budding because what will happen is your hair will start to frizz up so that's why i'm not paying too much attention to it right now i've just been giving it some time to actually kind of form on its own and that's where i start to see a lot of the changes with the hair so i'll take this out again and i'll show you guys some close-ups of the ones that are actually starting to lock up and one thing you'll notice is that the tips are still wispy but they tighten up over time especially with applying water because what i always tell people is if you apply water it will kind of separate the hair and when the hair dries out it brings it tighter and it's just kind of that process of separating bringing tighter separating bringing tighter that's just like the whole locking process is it goes through this whole phase of kind of loosening up tightening up loosening up tightening up and that's just when you maintain it like when you do maintenance that's what you're trying to accomplish and say you're getting a wet you want it to dry out you don't want to put any products in your hair that are going to build up oil or have any product build up and i think for most people the ones that'll lock up quickest are the one in the, are the ones in the back, and that's what I'm noticing too. Because typically on people, um, the hair on the back of their head is thicker, just because that's the hair that stays on your head permanently, versus the hair that's in the front. Um, so these ones in the front are pretty wild, and yeah, they're not really hanging because I they're not really hanging that well because I do pull them up a lot, and a lot of you guys are like, yo, don't pull your hair up that much. I know. See how I'm looking right now? I ain't trying to wear my hair down. <laughs> but I have took your guys' advice on not maintaining it as much, and this is what we're looking like, so. It just comes with patience for sure. But I was surprised when I felt this, and I actually had a dream, which was funny. I had a dream that I like felt the back of my head, and I had a really thick dreadlock, and it was like completely locked, and I was like, all right, gotta commit now. <laughs> but yeah, I would say I have about, I would say six or seven on my head that are actually starting to lock. So that's cool. But I mentioned earlier how I just put it in one loop. I don't double wrap my um, hair tie. I just literally throw it on and it allows my hair to hang a little lower, hang a little better. But you guys, that's me today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I thought this was important because I don't really see many videos on people talking about what pillows to use or pillowcases or anything like that. And I just thought this was a great option and a, 
good good subject to talk about especially because this is an organic pillow and natural it's buckwheat and bamboo you know what they say chinese bamboo is very strong anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to go check out pinetails.com other than that i'll see you guys next time hopefully you guys do have an amazing day matter of fact have a great day peace out God bless.